A descending goddess is when her spirit leaves heaven, goes to heaven's gates. Jesus assigns her a soul. That soul can be of a tree, a dolphin, a blade of grass. But she takes the soul of a human being. And it happens to be a female. So that makes all females goddesses. You're descending of a, of, of a goddess. That's what you're descending from, a goddess. Now you got to live out your manifestation. You're born as a female. That's your caterpillar stage. Your cocoon stage is the girl in you and the woman in you. The things you learn as a woman, you can't learn as a girl. But you're still learning. A cocoon takes in the elements of life, the things that it goes through, it grows and matures from that. But you don't want to be stuck in your cocoon. If you keep on calling yourself a woman, it ain't nothing wrong with the woman. But that's what you're going to stay as, as a woman. You don't want to carry around a man in you. That's too much. God gave you enough man in you that you don't need a man, or should want a man, or should even ask for a man. But at the end of the day, you want to let that man go. And the only part of you that does not have man in it is the lady. True strength is learning how to let go of your strength and be comfortable in it. That's when you become a lady. No different than a descending of an angel. All males are angels. Lucifer was an angel. He got kicked out of heaven for doing negative things. The devil is not a person. It's a behavior, a mentality. Our job is to choose between positive and negative. That is our free will. If you choose negative all the time, you're not a child of God. You're a spawn of the devil. But as the angel descends from heaven's gate, it takes on a soul of a human. It's born as a male child. That's his caterpillar stage. His cocoon stage is the boy in him and the man in him. The things he do as a man, he could not do as a boy. If he only stays a man, he'll never go to his butterfly stage. That's when he becomes a creature of two. That's a gentleman. A female is already born as a creature of two. She's the fee in the mill. And she's the woo and the man. God gave enough man that you know never need a man should ask for a man. But the woo of a woman is the womb. Which the fetus comes from the womb. And all goddess receives the rib of God. That gives your godlike powers. Anything that can bleed for seven days, carry a child for nine months, and live through a birth, that's a goddess. If you, you ain't no woman if you can't bleed for seven days, carry a child for nine months, and live through a birth. You can cut it, snuck it, tuck it, and pack it. But until you do that, you ain't no woman. God don't carry, care how you carry yourself on earth, as long as you don't hurt his children. Jesus will leave judgment of that when your soul comes to heaven's gate. Your soul can't even go through heaven's gate because it carries sins of the flesh. True confession is confession to your thoughts that only you and God and Jesus knows. Them are true confessions. And when you confess them at heaven's gate, God is forgiving. Jesus is too. But if you can't, you'll be stuck in purgatory. Think about it. Because the most powerful thing you have it's not what you say, it's what you think. Because only you and God knows your thoughts. And when you take the time to think about your thoughts, you're having a conversation with God. Be blessed.